everyone welcome to the new video so ideally this video should be terraform tutorial day 15 but um, today i thought to post this video because i uh, i think that this will be useful for most of the people who don't know about this trick uh, those who are already using this well and good and it's perfectly awesome that you're using it but people who are going to give their interviews in short span of time uh, their interviews are already scheduled or they are um, you know uh, applying so this is the best trick that you can follow uh, uh, to uh, you know judge that how much confident how much your answers are structured so without further ado let's check this out so we have to give a situation to chat gpt or you can even use perplexity whatever you are comfortable using it you just have to give us hypothetical situation if your interview is not there and you want to prepare for an interview uh, or if your interview is actually there so i have given i have an interview on sunday please provide me topics to prepare for my devops interview and i have total five years of experience and job description says they need azure devops terraform and kubernetes first of all you if you give this prompt to chat gpt um, so thinking about the years of experience and everything and whatever job description de uh, describes it will give that you know uh, what all uh, can be as an azure devops pipeline and what can like basically i've given azure devops so it will tell about the azure and then about terraform and then about uh, terraform with azure and then we will have terraform advanced topic um, best practices kubernetes because so this is what we can do when we are uh, having any interview and or we want to uh, prepare ourselves for an interview and we don't have but just give this scenario and it will present all the topics before you okay that what we can do and how we can do it next thing is if you want a mock interview this is one of the best thing you if you uh, ask chat gpt that i want a mock interview so what it will do it will start acting as an interviewer and you will be a candidate so it will ask one question you have to type the answer so i know typing is not that cool but just give the main points and if your pointers are correct it will just after the end of your answer when you have provided your answer it will provide the feedback so suppose i am doing i am saying do a mock interview okay scenario based so perfect let's do a uh, it is saying i'll act as an interviewer and i'll ask one scenario at a time and i have to give uh, answer so it has given one scenario like you have a microservice application running on aks the company wants a CI/CD pipeline using Azure DevOps that build Docker images, pushes them to a container registry, deploys to AKS, and supports zero downtime deployment. So, explain the end-to-end -end pipeline design you would create using Azure DevOps, and mention the pipeline stages, how you handle deployment, how zero downtime is achieved. So now you understand should the question. Now we have to design a pipeline. So first of all, we have to uh, tell that from which branch we will be going to do the deployment. Like we will choose, uh, we will design uh, from uh, which branch the pipeline uh, should get triggered and on which environment it will do the deployment like a uh, master branch or main branch will do the deployment on production okay then second scenario is a pipeline uh, will get triggered on a pr or a push of specific branches that we can put okay then uh, uh, then on uh, which agent our pipeline uh, should run 
ओके इट शुड बी माइक्रोसॉफ्ट होस्टेड एजेंट और इट शुड बी सेल्फ होस्टेड एजेंट ओके आफ्टर दैट वी विल गिव आर फर्स्ट स्टेज विल बी सो स्टेजेस इन अवर पाइपलाइन विल बी चेक आउट कोड देन बिल्ड स्टेज ओके देन आफ्टर बिल्ड स्टेज वी हैव यूनिट टेस्ट स्टेज ओके वील पुट यूनिट टेस्ट स्टेज वील पुट कोड क्वालिटी स्कैन स्टेज then we will put open source scan stage uh, then we will put docker image build stage then we will put contain uh, image scan stage and then uh, after this we will push it to uh, uh, contain uh, push it to acr okay after pushing it to acr we can check the vulnerabilities it is already handled now how do you handle deployment so basically my deployments uh, so i will put uh, first of all manual approvals and uh, gate decision stages to um, control deployment in production so we cannot directly do the production deployment there will be approval stages and gate decision stages that i will put before doing the deployment then um, the deployment will be happening through uh, will happen through helm and uh, i will uh, create a uh, helm structure and uh, deploy dot ss script which will do the deployment on the uh, cluster and namespace provided and uh, what it will do it will uh, store uh, helm uh, when we will do the helm deployment um, we will see that uh, helm deployment will happen through helm and i will create helm structure and deploy and in helm um, template uh, we will update the image so that each time uh, updated image is picked okay after doing the uh, image or uh, like update image updated image should be picked but we are uh, you know each time uh, the uh, next uh, image or uh, what you say helm uh, we are keeping the helm revision okay we are storing the helm revision, uh, revision. Uh, so helm uh, history is stored is stored and then uh, if suppose if suppose uh, the zero downtime is achieved so we will do hel in to achieve uh, zero downtime we will do helm upgrade okay and um, strategy will be rolling okay update so i have given my answer in pointers and i will just push my answer so it will of course it will uh, tell the uh, feedback on the answer i have uh, provided that uh, now let me evaluate it like an interviewer and then i'll upgrade it to an interview ready response so whatever things i have missed it will uh, you know provide it uh sub yeah so i have missed main pointer like zero downtime explanation how zero downtime will happen so you can tell about the deployments which i think i have not explained in my question then multi stage pipeline structure yeah we have to give that how pipeline will be you know multi stage so that there should be you know um, uh, there should be no such resource constraint 
then service connection how we are going to give connect to the aks or acr that service connection the credential how we are going to store those credential the rollback strategy we uh, i i didn't provide and health checks readiness and livelihood so the art is what yeah i think i missed every all this pointers so i can improve my answer so this is a best practice to check that whether your knowledge is sufficient or what you can more polish in your answers and i think you should start it from today if you haven't do started doing so yeah that's all for today's video i hope it's helpful please let me know your views in the comment section till then take care bye